So this is a weird one to me. Okay, because when Josh Anderson came to the Montreal Canadiens, he was looked at as a big piece, not just for the upcoming season to help the Habs make the playoffs and eventually a deep run to the Stanley Cup final in 2021, but a big piece of the Montreal Canadiens' future for years to come, and they signed him to a multi-year contract. So now, after having finished his second season with the Montreal Canadiens, for him to have been floated around in trade talks is honestly surprising to me. I really, really didn't think that this would be happening, but here we are. And look, I want to make it known, and this is an article on Montreal Hockey Now, published by Marco D'Amico, and who is, by the way, a pretty reputable Hab source. To his credit, he mentions that, no, the Montreal Canadiens, they're not shopping Josh Anderson, but demand for him across the NHL is high. And we've mentioned and heard from Elliot Friedman, who is the most reputable source in the entire NHL, that a ton of teams have been calling on Josh Anderson. And guess what? The Montreal Canadiens... They've been listening because he signed long term. He's a good player. He's still relatively young. They're not going to give him away for nothing. And yes, we know that the Habs are leaning towards a rebuild here. And if that's the case, this could be a player that they could trade and get an absolute haul for. Like the guy just scored 19 goals, okay, in 69 games there for the Montreal Canadiens. So not a bad season, but I saw a lot of people all year mentioning that it was just a weird fit. He seemed a little bit out of place on that Montreal Canadiens team, and it was just a little bit awkward having Anderson on that team. So if they would be willing to ship him out, which it seems like they might be, they could get a good return, not because he scored 19 goals, okay, and not because he signed long-term, and not because he's only 28, but because he's big, he's strong, he's tough, and he's mean. And if there's one thing we see about the Stanley Cup playoffs is that players like that are valuable, okay? And I'm not just talking about Fat Pat Maroon, who is slower than, a, what, a cow on the ice? Like, this guy is slow, and that's no slight to Pat Maroon. I actually kind of like him, and you can't deny what he's done. He's a decent player, but Anderson is big, strong, mean, and tough, like I said, but he's such a unicorn because he's fast. He has speed. He can barrel down the wing, and he's faster than a lot of players in the NHL on top of that size, which is such a rarity in the National Hockey League. So this guy could be extremely valuable. I know that the Edmonton Oilers are really lobbying for Josh Anderson's services. They want him bad, especially if they might lose Evander Kane. And I know that they're not the only ones. Lots of teams. I know the Calgary Flames also kicking around Josh Anderson for years now. And a few years back when he was with Columbus, there was a rumored Sean Monaghan, Josh Anderson trade that might have been in the works there. So the Flames have always had interest in him. And again, it just depends on what the Habs can get for this player, which if you ask me, quite a lot. He's valuable. And obviously, we know the deal. We know how this works in the NHL. If they were to trade Josh Anderson, coming the other way, you'd most likely get some good prospects and some good draft picks. And if you're lucky, you might get a roster player who could play for you right now. But Josh Anderson on the trade market... That is a very, very attractive thing that Ken Hughes should be looking at. We already know that he's out shopping guys like Jeff Petrie and loosely Jonathan Drouin, so we'll see what happens there. But it does look like this Josh Anderson thing is picking up steam, and by the time next season starts, he might not be a Montreal Canadian. This summer, it seems like there's going to be some possibly very good offers, and we know that it's going to have to knock Ken Hughes' socks off for him to consider trading Josh Anderson. But I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a good offer, especially after the playoffs we're watching. I really, really wouldn't be surprised if teams look at Josh Henderson as a guy that that like, hey, that guy could be an X factor for my team in the playoffs and help push us over the hump. I need him and I'm going to make a great offer to get him. I will not be surprised. And if he's wearing a different sweater, I'm telling you, it's a very big possibility. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about a Josh Anderson trade because it's picking up steam and where there's smoke, there's fire in the NHL with trade rumors. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.